the level of oil is ah, coming out. Okay, open, open, open. Shit, drip. No? Ah. Hey guys, welcome to the How To channel. My name is Ivan and today I am going to show you how to flush and bleed your motorcycle brakes. This is something that you need to do every two years or so because the oil inside of your brakes lose its density and over time you need to change it. You can also feel it by pressing your brake if it has become harder to press your brake, if it's stiff, that means that the oil has lost its density and its time or its capacity and it's time to change it. Let's do it together. On all bikes, there's an information on oil reservoir, which oil to use. In my case, it is DOT4. The main parts for the oil brakes are this oil reservoir right here. And then we have pipe that goes all the way down to the pistons and the brakes. And right here on the brake, we have a small screw and a small pipe where we are going to flush our brakes. The essentials that we need for this change. We need a screwdriver to open up the reservoir. We need a wrench to open up this small screw right here. We need a bottle in which the old oil will go. We need one pipe. This pipe should be five, six, seven millimeter diameter so that we can fit on uh, this hole right here so the oil won't spill all over the the wheel we don't want to do that and we have this knife so we can open up this bottle i will show you that later so first things first let's open up this oil re reservoir and let's see what kind of oil we have inside before opening this cap it's always good to straighten up your bike so that the oil won't spill all over your bike open this we have this cap and then we have this rubber part now you have to be very careful you don't want to spill any oil right here good we will leave this aside as you can see here in my reservoir the level of oil is very low i should have refilled that sooner I still have some oil there. Now we are going to change it. Before we open this pipe right here, we will integrate the hose on this part so we don't spill any oil all over the wheel. Now the other part of the hose should go into the, this bottle. One tip for this bottle is to make a small X right here so we can fit the hose easier into the bottle. So when we have our X, we'll just put this. Because this old oil right here is pretty clear. As you can see, there is no hard stuff in there or some dirtiness or something. I can use this oil. I will just refill the reservoir with the new oil and flush the brakes to see if there's any air in the brakes. So we need to take the DOT4 oil. When you have a new bottle like this, what I like to do is to drill two holes with the screwdriver something like this and something like this on one hole we will fill the oil on the other hole it's for the air so it will be easier not to spill anything refill the reservoir we need to open this screw right here So I have made one circle with the screw and this is the oil that I got from the brake. As you can see here, it is a little bit dirty and it has 
some air bubbles inside so we need to flush our blade brakes so what is the procedure to flush it basically take your handle press it a couple of times like this and then just press and hold and then go down to this screw and open it open it and as you can see the oil came out a little bit more i will now close it and now i can release the handle again the same procedure press it a couple of times so that the oil from the reservoir goes all the way to the pipe and make a good enough pressure here on this brake so it fills all the gaps and then it will come out once again so you need to repeat this process as you can see here the level of oil in the reservoir is already a little bit less you need to repeat the, this process until you feel okay with the oil that's coming out from the brake when the oil that's coming out of the brake is a good color and without any bubbles inside that means that your brake is flashed good enough so i have repeated this procedure a couple of times and now i'm pretty satisfied with the type of oil that i have here as you can see it's pretty clear i don't have any bubbles which means that the, that is the new oil that is now inside of the system as you can see here in the reservoir the level is again very low so we need to fill that level a little bit more there's usually a line right here inside of the reservoir until where you need to fill it with the new oil because later when you insert this cap as you can see this cap has this uh, black part black rubber so when it goes inside you don't want to make it full so the oil then come comes out of the reservoir as you can see here the level of oil is ah, coming out okay open 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 shit drip no ah we don't want any drips on the bike from the oil. Let's put it inside. Ah. Now it's good. As you can see, there is no oil dripping on the sides. Let's integrate the screws. Screw it tight. Just take a cloth and wipe everything here around the reservoir because we don't want to have any oil residue right here because it will get sticky and it will just bother you. Now we need to release this hose right here but without dripping it all over the floor we want to open this higher level of the hose first so that the air comes in and then all the fluid will go down to the pipe so just like this pull it out pull it out pull it out hey see once the air came in there's nothing here in the hose and there you have it guys we have successfully changed the oil in this front brake on my Suzuki Intruder M800. Procedure is very easy, very simple. I recommend to do it every two years or so, just to keep your oil clean and fresh. If you found any value in this video, please hit that like button so you can spread to more people, so you can help more people. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.